Okay. All right. Good morning, members and friends of the Church of the Angels. The church is an independent, non-denominational, interfaith spiritualist assembly. My name is Reverend Jenny Vinecourt, and I am your facilitator today. Today, we'll spend about an hour together with a bit of prayer and sharing and song. Uh, a few logistics as we get started. You can join us today with just your audio if you choose. Um, the rec uh, the service is being recorded so that we can reach more people. Um, uh, people come in later and, and, and re-watch uh, or join it if they can't come. And so the only person that shows up on the recording is the one who's speaking. So that if you don't want to be shown up, if you don't want to show up on the recording, go ahead and stop your uh, video uh, if you have a comment or a question later. Uh, during the sharing portion, if you want to be called on to make a comment or have a question, go ahead and raise your hand and I will try to see you or use one of the little um, reaction buttons and, and raise your hand that way. I'll try to make sure that I catch everybody. Um, everybody else kind of watches me as well. So if I miss somebody, somebody say, hey, uh, let me know that I've missed somebody. Want to mention that if you want to make a donation, uh, you can do so through the Church of the Angels website. Uh, you will have the opportunity to make that uh, donation a recurring one if you want. I've also changed up the website just a little bit so that the don on the donation page, you can uh, donate for specific things now. And that makes it a little easier on the treasurer so we know what money is for what. Um, so, you know, there's a separate uh, donation button for the development circle and there's a separate donation button for uh, meditation and so on and so forth. So take a look at that uh, <clears throat> while you're making your donations so that we can um, uh, make that a little easier on our treasurer. Thank you so much. Join me in an opening prayer, please. Mother, Father, Infinite Spirit, thank you for your blessings on all those who join us today to honor your work and experience your grace and wisdom. Thank you for providing the appropriate thoughts, insights, actions, and all resources for us to gain a better and truer understanding of your love by the word spoken, the healing brought forth here today by the word spoken, and the songs that we sing, and the prayers, so that we might lead healthy, happy, and prosperous lives. Thank you for showing us the way to accept responsibility for our lives, and we're grateful to know that you are with us always. Amen. And now, if you so choose, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now um, I've asked Batya Weinbaum to go ahead and read our statement of principles for us today. Batya, if you could unmute yourself and go ahead with that. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for the opportunity to serve. Statement of principles. There is one creative force of which all life is a part. This one creative force is known by many names and manifestations. We recognize and honor the many names and manifestations of the one creative force the source of all creation, one in God. The energy of life everywhere is continuous. All consciousness is continuous. Communication is continuous. The energy of life, consciousness, and communication never cease, even after the event that is perceived as death. One creates one's own reality. One creates in harmony with the one creative force, the great power of God, of which all life is a part. Reality is as one chooses to perceive and will change as one grows in knowledge of the inner self, and one's relationship with the God of his understanding. All things are possible with faith, insight, knowledge, understanding, acceptance, and love. Love is the unifying energy of the universe. Love is the energy of the one creative force, the wisdom of God. All life and all mankind are one in the creatorship and healing force of love and with each other. Love is within us and of us. Love is never apart from us. It is we who separate ourselves from the power of love. The force of God works through love and love alone. Thank you, Batya. Thank you so much. And now we'll have a Thank few you. moments of quiet meditation so that we can concentrate on going within to find some peace and calm and healing for ourselves and the world. The piece that I'm going to be playing today is called A Prayer for Peace. It's about five minutes long. Um, so I will bring you back after that. Enjoy.
Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. your time. Take a breath and come back to the present. Remember that we're always connected to each other and to the divine. 
And while we're still in a space of peace and calm, please add silently or aloud the names of those you wish to include in this healing energy. Thank you. And remember to use this peace and calm to take care of yourselves first. And then all those around you in your communities and throughout the world in whatever way that you can. And now we'll raise our vibration a little uh, with a song from the, um, well, you'll recognize it. You'll recognize it. I'm hoping that you could hear that song. I don't, are people still having trouble hearing me? My volume is all the way up. Are you still having trouble hearing yes. me? Yes. Yes, we are. Interesting, because I can hear you just peachy. And you I sounded fabulous in the beginning, and then after you played the music, your volume went way down. Interesting. Well, I, I've got the volume up on the computer. I'm just going to keep going, and um, hopefully... And uh, I'm not quite sure, like I said, I don't know what Zoom is doing, but are you hearing the music at least? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> All right. And, and I think we can hear each other. So um, uh, when we do the message portion, hopefully that will help. Um, it's now time for inspiration and thought exchange. And actually, you're back. I'm back. Okay. Yeah, you're back. Well, I don't know what the heck it's doing, but. You know, it's it's that kind I can of a hear Sunday. you clearly though. I can. <laughs> it's that kind of a Sunday, I guess. Okay. All right. All right. Well, today, instead of inspiration and thought exchange, um, we're doing an experiment today. It's a great day for an experiment with Zoom acting up on my computer, but that's okay. Um, we haven't had we used to do first Sundays at the church when we were doing live services. First Sundays were always all message services. And we haven't really tried one on Zoom. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Today, uh, we're going to try that on Zoom and uh, see what happens. That's why I've asked a lot of the mediums to show up. And to tell you the truth, because I've asked so many today, uh, or I've asked so many to, to join us today, I can't remember who said yes and who said no. So please, definitely, if I ask you and you do not have a message or you do not wish to serve spirit today, uh, that doesn't mean that you never will and you're allowed to say no. So, um, but before we do that, now that I'm actually back, I want to share a prayer with you. And then I want to share um, the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Um, it just seems to me today, even though we're doing an all message service, today feels to me like we need extra prayers. We need extra prayers for peace. We need extra prayers for healing. Uh, we all know somebody, or at least know somebody that knows somebody that is ill with COVID or having difficulties with finances or something. Um, and Linda, who joined us this morning, uh, Renee's friend or cousin, cousin, I can't remember. Uh, but at any rate, um, Linda, who joined us today, who's in the hospital. So we all need extra prayers. I'm going to start with one from uh, Uplifting Prayers to Light Your Way. I know I've used this before. <laughs> and the prayer is for retrieving joy. Holy Mother, Father God, divine loving light and heart of the universe. I humbly ask for the healing power of your grace to wash away the heaviness in my heart. Grant me the grace to gain fresh perspectives and open myself up to possibilities through positive encounters and the new teachers, healers, mentors, and guides. Please send in the joy guides to bring me back to life. I wanna thank you in advance with my whole heart and soul for answering my prayer and I look forward to enjoying a lightness of heart once again. Amen and with infinite gratitude. And I was gonna just do that one, but Spirit says open the book to a page and see what happens. So we're gonna do another one before I give you that other prayer. All right, it's called Being True to Myself. Holy Mother, Father God, divine loving light and heart of the universe. I humbly ask for the healing power of your grace to find me as I have abandoned myself. Breathe your most holy breath into my being and cleanse my soul of all that is not in support of my true nature. I pray for you to free me of all attachments that do not serve me and lead me to those that do. Let me be honest about my own motivations when dealing with others and keep me from indulging in unworthy manipulations and self-serving ego-based maneuvers at the expense of my authenticity and spirit. Please send in your angels to move me back into the flow of an authentic life. I thank you in advance with my whole heart and soul for answering my prayer and I confidently await these blessings. Amen and with infinite gratitude. And now for the Aramaic, the Lord's Prayer in Ar Aramaic. <laughs> Helen Lachman Sunkan and Yumana, Ushuklan Hobain, a Chana Tapachman Shuklan Kayawin, Ulat Ellan El Nesuna, Ella Fasan Mendisha, Mutundilo Fai Melchuta, Uhela, Utishbukta, La Alam Almi, Amin. Thank you. I hope you could hear that because the energy in those words, speaking in the original Aramaic, is extremely powerful. I mean, the, the Lord's Prayer is powerful to begin with. But to hear it in the Aramaic uh, really, um, I think, kicks it up a notch. It just kicks it up a notch. So without any further ado, um, and we'll move into some message work. I'll do some announcements. Oh, let me do the announcements first. Let's get them over with. Um, okay, next week's speaker is uh, Juniper May Nellis, a friend of mine from Fellowship School. She will be with us uh, next week. Um, tomorrow is uh, at 6 p.m. is the Women's Book Grub and Book Book Grub. Oh my goodness, uh, the Book Club. Excuse me. Um, I'm sure y'all heard that. 
Um, and unfortunately, Patrice, I got to tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to make it tomorrow, but that's okay. Uh, they're discussing this week, the, uh, their, or this month, they're discussing the book Braided Sweetgrass. Um, tomorrow at 7 p.m. is Development Circle on Zoom. Uh, Wednesday is the Virtual Meditation Circle with Reverend Renee. Thursday is the 7 p.m. Thought Exchange with uh, Patrice Shahan. And Actually, I would like a, a favor to ask everyone uh, if you could please email me either at my email, RevJenny at Gmail, or the church's email, the Church of the Angels at gmail.com. And let me know. We're thinking about possibly putting together um, something similar to the New Year's Eve event that we've done in the past, you know, an early evening something uh, with some releasing and a meditation and whatnot. But what would you like to see? Give me your ideas because I've got a board meeting on Tuesday. So if you could get those to me with that, uh, within the next day or so, give me your ideas of what you'd like to see or what you'd like to do uh, in attending a Zoom event like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And so let me know that. Are there any announcements? I know that uh, Batia put in the chat, uh, she put the information about her art class. Um, and uh, that was in the beginning of the chat. So if you guys wanna go find that, but does anybody else have any announcements from the floor? All right, let me take a quick look here. I am not seeing anybody yet. Let me check the other screen. Okay, it looks like we're, we're good. If I miss somebody, unmute yourself and say, hey, interrupt me, please. <coughs> All right, and now we'll move into some uh, message work. As spiritualists, we believe that uh, all, the energy of all beings is forever linked and that we all have the direct access to the love and guidance of guides, teachers, loved ones, saints, healers, and angels on the other side of life. And we do have mediums uh, here today that have agreed to be of service and connect with spirit to bring forth a few messages for us. And I think we have plenty of workers today, unless of course everybody says no, but I don't think they will. Um, we have plenty of workers today that we could probably do like a couple of messages and then move on to the next, uh, the next medium. And I think that should do it. If you've got more than that and it's and uh, um, and you want to do more, that's fine. But I'm just going to ask everybody to um, to possibly do two. And to start us off, I'm asking Spirit um, and they would like me to call on Reverend Deborah Bay. Would you start us off, please? <laughs> sure. Thank, Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. I'm so grateful to be here this morning to serve. And I'm sure everybody wants a message, but first I'll come to um, Denise. Do you want a message today? Hi, how are you? It's so good to connect with you. Spirit's coming in with a masculine energy. It feels like a father energy is your father in spirit. Yeah, he's with you and he is still um, holding you up. He's, he's given you strength. He's, he's honoring you for your choices you made because you are standing in your authentic truth no matter what, even though you have been getting some pushback recently from, I don't know if it's a distant family member or cousin, somebody that just is not in agreement, but what they're really reacting to is other things that are going on in the world, but they're projecting it onto you. He says, just, just got, you know, surround yourself with love and light. So you don't absorb those energies. And he's kind of, I see him stepping in front of you and, and what's coming at you. So I don't know if that, does that resonate with you? Do you have someone that's been kind of, okay, yeah. It, it has nothing to do with you. I mean, it does to a little degree because you are part of the collective and you're part of the change that's coming into the world and what we're seeing and accepting people for their souls instead of their outer appearance. But what he's projecting onto you is his anger and his own fear and his own frustration. And um, that's coming out. So um, anyway, so just let it go. Let it bounce off. You're good at that. And, and continue to channel all of this experience, everything you've gone through the last, has this been about a 10 year journey that you've really come out and, 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 and yeah. So just continue to channel that into your work. Are you still working on your book? He says, you need to open that back up. I'm seeing a book open up, get in it, set, set aside time, block it off in your calendar. Otherwise, you're just not going to do it. So you need to. You're a powerful voice and you have a lot to share. And he's there with you. And he's just, like I said, he's standing in front of you, blocking you. But he's also behind you. So, you know, spirit, they can be everywhere at once. But he's holding you up and supporting you because he is applauding you for, for having the strength and the ability to stand in your authentic truth. And he sends out with lots of love, giving you a big hug. He didn't hug you enough. 
as a child and he wishes he would have and been in your life more, but he is supporting you and with you 100% on your journey. So I'll leave that with you with love and light. Lee Churchill, Lee, would you like a message? Lee, I feel a grandmother energy coming in, like rose. I'm smelling rose. I, I don't know if she wore rose fragrance or if she tended to roses or if she's just in the, the rose realm and spirit. But I'm just, are you drawn to roses? I'm also seeing the color pink, a light pink, a very pale, like very beautiful, like an opening of a rose. I don't know. Are, are you, um, she's saying that, it, it's about tending the garden, even though it's winter here, it's tending the garden and tending to your tender heart and your tender soul. There's some pain that you're going through and, and, it, and it feels crushing. Like, is this resonating? It feels like, like your heart's almost being squeezed and it, it, it's because your nectar is being squeezed to, to release it. Um, you, you hold back. She's telling me you hold back on saying things like I'm seeing hands going over my mouth because you don't want to hurt others, but you can see what they're doing in their lives, but it's okay to hold back. And, and if you have a writing practice, do you journal? Do you have a way to purge? You might want to get into something like that. And I'm even seeing, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I'm seeing pieces of very, very thin, light, pale pink paper sprayed with a fragrance. And it's just, I, I really look into the rose energy. Do you study flower therapy or anything? Okay. That might be something look up tonight, today after service, get on, you know, Google it, rose energy and flower therapy and, and the color pink in that rose, but she's with you. Did she have a garden roses? Did, did do you know, or I, I, you're muted. I can't hear you, but you think so? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. So look into that and tap into her. She's here to guide you with flower therapy, rose therapy, and that, that energy. So look that up and you'll get a lot of insight, but it's okay to, um, don't be upset. She's telling me, don't be upset with yourself for having these thoughts of what you see and what you want to project out there because it's normal and everybody's going through so much right now and, and your heart's going to be okay. Just protect your tender heart and um, yeah, and, and channel this energy into something for you and something greater. And it, it's going to be a new path, a new direction. Did you lose a job recently or have you been laid off or no, there, there's a new path opening. I'm seeing a path lined with the flower. So this might be something that you might look into, but she's here with you for sure. And she's excited um, with the energies of the holidays and things like that. So just tap into that love, that rose, beautiful, pale pink energy. So she's with you and gives you a big hug. And I'll leave that with you. Thank you for allowing me to serve. Thank you, Reverend Deborah. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let me look at my list here. Um, Patrice, are you so inspired this morning? Jenny, thanks for asking, but I have been a little bit distracted here today, so I'm going to pass. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you so much. Reverend Ann Bartlett, how about you this morning? Thank you. Oh, you're still muted, Ann. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Okay. Okay. I was born in the 50s. What does that tell you? All right. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Forgive me. I, I need to look at the people. Maria, did you get a message yet? Okay. I, I can't hear you, but I can read your lips. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Hi there. How you doing? Okay. How are you? I have both uh, a mother and a father here in my heart to give to you with a lot of love and strength. They know that you've been through a lot lately this past year. Um, they're giving, like I said, a lot of love and strength. The good things are headed your way, just to let you know that, okay? They're looking at your health. They want you to get a little stronger, eat a little bit better through the winter months. Do you understand that? Yes. <clears throat> okay. I have here a little boy that requires some attention from you. Do you understand that? Yes. There's a little boy here. All right. Um, one minute. Okay. I, I see a grandfather stepping in here with a lot of flowers and love. Uh, he, 
this is someone in spirit. Um, he's trying to make light of things, though. I see he's helping you with some hands-on projects. He was really good with his hands, whatever it was, carpentry, fixing things, whatever. He's helping you to fix some things. I'm even getting like fixing some sort of relationship with a young man or a man, something like that. Okay, I see an angel stepping in here with you, holding a candle. Please don't forget that the light of God is always around you and with you at every second. Every second of the day, you can just say, hello, I need help. <laughs> or what do I do about this? And then he's showing me then for you to touch your heart and receive guidance from the angels. Okay, and she's also showing me on a physical level, you can always turn on a light or a pretend candle or light a candle to remember the presence of the divine, which is with you at all times and just sit in it like we did today in meditation. Just be, but ask and receive. Um, okay, when I hold out my hand, it's a wonderful little technique I use. When I hold out my hand, I see an old fashioned kid's uh, sled. You know, the wood kind that goes zipping down the hills. I'm getting here to have some fun and some joy as possible this holiday season. I have a grandmother with that message for you. All right, and God bless you and good luck. Thank you so much. Welcome. All right, let's, let's forgive me, I have to look. Ah. Anne Marie, have you been touched? Not yet. I would oh. love a message. Oh, hi there. Hi. You are someone that has carried a, quite a load in life. You're quite responsible, quite mature. You've handled a lot of people's situations. You need a rest right now. Do you understand this? I'm getting a, a grandmother figure here. You are like a matriarchal figure head in this family unit or friend unit, people in general. Grandma is saying here, please take a rest, be kind to yourself through the holidays. It does not need to be a big deal. You understand this, uh, to keep it light, keep it. And I'm, she's showing me and telling me to give people things that you would like them to have, that you would like to give them, not the list, but what you would like to give for them from you to them. And it's very special right now for you to do that. I'm getting here some concerns with money. I'm getting here a need to review your financial records or whatever, your, your finances, your assets, okay? I have a fathery figure stepping in here who's gonna help you. You may need to reach out to a financial consultant person just to review where you're at financially and any little adjustments that need to be made, okay? Or recommendations. Okay. I'm getting here a brother figure that would like to touch and talk with you. Probably brother-in-law. Okay, brother-in-law, thank you. Okay, <laughs> when I turn my head a little bit to the right, I get someone, I see a sailing boat, one of those old fashioned big ship sailing boats and that essentially the message is you're going in the right direction with whatever you're into your projects work, whatever, you're in the right direction. Uh, but they want you to be, I'm showing me the head that you want to be reading more spiritually based uh, books or poems, whatever, for ins spiritual inspirations. They want to amp up your education and the spiritual uh, knowledges. You understand that? Yeah. But you are smoothing, sailing the right direction. Okay. <laughs> Gonna laugh at this one. On my other side, I'm being shown an angel with the magic wand. Make a wish. Make a wish and she's going to help you have it come true. Do you understand that? Are you thinking okay. about a new home or residence? Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe that's with this one and just a little dink. She's doing with the magic wand with you. Sure, help assist you in that, okay? Mm -hmm. So ask for this wish angel for help. One more thing. I always ask for presents for Christmas. This is one of my favorite message services. Um, 
Okay. What I'm being shown here in my hand is a beautiful uh, Christmas wreath, something to put on your door. Do we have a wreath on your door yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, they're giving you another one. Just it's, it's a symbolic gesture of uh, have some joy and lightness for the season in spite of all that's going on. Be a role model for the neighborhood and for your friends and people. Many blessings. Mom is stepping in here with a lot of lo whole lot of love, a whole lot of love for you in admiration of what you are doing and what you're about. So God bless you and good luck with everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ann. Thank you so much for serving. Thank you very much. Uh, B. Beckbar, do you have a message to give today, dear? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I, as I was sitting here um, and the um, prayers, their Aramaic prayers were um, being said, I, um, spirit was showing me, um, the image, um, to come to, uh, Judy Naren. Um, uh, would you accept, uh, me talking uh, with you, um, through spirit, please? Yes, please. All right. Um, part of what I need, uh, to express to you through spirit, I'd like I'd like it if you wouldn't mind uh, talking with me after service, please. Um, uh, it would be, I believe, proper for me to speak with you uh, at that time, uh, if you don't mind. Um, I think it would be better. Um, spirits would be more comfortable with that concept if you would stay on with me uh, after service a little bit. Um, I have a very abundant male energies uh, that are coming through. And I think it, speaking for the spirit guides that are with me, um, we would like to spend a little bit of time with you at that point, if possible. Would you accept that from spirit for me, please? Gladly, thank you so much, I would love to. Thank you very much. And I leave you with that at this time with Spirit's blessing. And um, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, Reverend Jenny. Thank you so much, B. Um, I'd like at this time to call on uh, Joey. Reverend Joey, would you serve Spirit, please? Okay, I'm unmuted. Yes, um, Patrice, would you like a message? Yes, thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. Um, <clears throat> I'm being given one word. The word is patience. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I to tell you that um, you need to be practicing more patience with the things that you're doing um, to allow the flow to happen. It's kind of like it's there's a you're uh, there's like a it's you're clogged. <laughs> okay. And if you just take that deep breath and say, okay, I'm going to practice patience with this, things are going to go a lot smoother. Um, it's, it's an extension of love, I'm being told, but the patience is a component that you have, you need to just add into the mix of everything you do, okay? Yeah. And I leave that with you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, Angeline, would you like a message? Yes, please, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Angeline, I am, Spirit's telling me to tell you to continue to be the light, that um, your inner glow uh, goes out to others and you lift them up and but you also need to remember to recharge. You can't keep giving and giving and giving your energy and not remembering to take that time to sit and be still and recharge yourself. And when you're doing it, um, I'm being told to tell you to think about all the things that bring you joy in your life and just sit there and think of all those wonderful things that make you happy and it will recharge you and then you'll be able again to start sharing. But I, 
I'm being shown people like follow you because you're such a light in their life. And they come to you with things that when they need help and they, you know, they, but they do drain you. So just remember, take the time to recharge. Okay. And I leave that with you. Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you for letting me serve. Thank you, Reverend Joey. Uh, Reverend Barbara Douglas, the, are you so inspired today? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, B, would you like a message? I can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself. Or at least nod your head, B. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Barbara, thank you so much. I was deep in, <laughs> I was away. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, Barbara, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I have a number of angels here for you. Oh, you. And they're very excited about you in your new place oh, and yeah. they're encouraging can you hear me by the way yes okay. yes ma'am they're encouraging you to fill your new domicile with joy i'm i'm sure you've filled it with love but in this case go from room to room to room with incense or sage or something and and be literally filling it with joy to in which of course with your environment filled with joy then you can be more filled with joy and expand even more and and that's their encouragement to expand the joy beyond you to the world to everyone you meet and especially this particular season I, I've noticed already there's there's a damper on it. And I think probably we all need to be sharing joy more. But there's um there's a sense that as it returns to you, it's going to through this these next two huge um, cosmic pulses that we have, that it's really going to lift you into a lot more joy which will serve you very well thank and i leave that with you as spirit's blessing oh thank you so very much barbara you're, you're very welcome oh, and I, I have a feeling this isn't kosher but i have this message i really need to give to Anne marie is is that okay okay yeah. Anne Marie, would you like another message always <laughs> okay thank you. um <laughs> you don't know these people this is um on your father's side it's like four generations back and they are gentlemen and on your mother's side it it's six generations and seven generations back and there's a woman and a man and then there are two cosmic beings so this is a big one, you know, like you have a whole cheering section working on your behalf. And they're so excited, um, as am I, about your artistic endeavors and love what you're doing, how you're doing it. And they want to encourage you to take it one step further than you currently are doing so that rather than simply doing, um, I, this is all coming in visually, so I have to keep translating. Um, rather than just a charcoal, a pastel, a painting, think of a whole, whether it's like doing a series, uh, the days of the week or the astrological signs or all the people at work. Um, not that it has to be a book, but to do a grouping of whatever you want, drawings, paintings, or something. But there's something about move beyond doing one and then one and then one and make some whole thing uh, 
again, not that you have to publish it, but there's something about the expansion that it's going to do for you, possibly for the people. Oh, I get it. Wow. If you do do people, wow, you are actually healing them as you paint them, as you draw them, whatever. So if you do do a whole series of people, it's expanding your healing power and it's, oh, and it's um, just healing lots of people. And this is really, uh, it's really important for them. So I think you're gonna be given um, wh whom, to whom you include in this. There's, there's, it's also coming in as do a preparation before you start something, you know, whether you sage yourself or burn incense or say a little prayer or whatever you normally do to do that first. And then this will all come. But, um, yeah, so this is, it's very healing. And of course, you then will be healed as well. And I leave that with you as Spirit's blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me serve, Jenny. Thank you, Reverend Dharma. Um, Reverend Renee Roth, I would like to call on you, please. Um, I have a message for Ann Bartlett. Do you like a message? Okay. Okay, so actually was meditating um, a little bit uh, and pulling some cards just to, for transparency for you. Um, so I'm going to mix that in with my message for you. And um, okay, so it feels like you've gotten to a point where spirit is showing me and it's whole new and it's gotten to a point and a plateau and a whole new areas opening up for you. Okay. Um, and it does show possible. Well, it's a very, it's okay. So, um, this could be emotional for you in this journey of yours in this area that's opening up. It is opening up a new beginning for you and it's exciting and it's, it's going to be successful for you. Um, you've got spirit behind you solidly got that spirit has your, as so to speak back on this. Okay. And even though you may have a blockade, okay, you may think that, you know what, this is not good energy. I'm not you, like there may come a point where you're going, you're going, you feel good about it and you feel real good, but don't give up because there may come in a, um, a an energy where it's actually more about envy towards you and uh, may, may be a cause of some kind of holdup in this process. I don't know if this makes any sense, but if it doesn't put it on the shelf because keep it in mind, as you're working on it, because it is a destined new beginning for you. And you're going to be absolutely successful in it, in this endeavor. And just know, you know what? If, you know, there's always gonna be a blockade with everything, right? But just know that that this holdup that that may happen that it really isn't it has nothing to do. This reminds me of a message somebody just got. It has nothing to do with you. It's actually about the other person's feelings, like being envious, that may cause them to want to hold you up. To to put it like that, okay. Um, and I do feel energy like a female spirit. Could it be your mother? It could be. It could be your mother coming in. And okay, so she's quite happy. Did she have short hair like you did? She has short hair. 
now well this can't hear you i'm sorry i can't hear you um she did it the later years of her life okay she so and she's so sweet and strong yeah she's coming in and she's showing me her hand she's giving me her hand to show you like the way she's making me feel is like take her hand for support like use her energy to help mm -hmm. push you forward because she's with you on this journey okay thank you very much i'll leave that with you with light and love thank you thank you reverend jenny can i come to you uh yes thank you so much thank you so um again i did meditate and pulled some cards for you and i will mix that in with my message i hope that's okay it just kind of gives me some direction and, and i and i okay so um so the big thing that okay so uh just so you know, partnerships and alliances came up initially. Uh, there was the first card. So, um, and that is a big, uh, that is a um, theme in your life, okay? That you are meant to expand on, okay? Um, Spirit is guiding it with to say you need to what they are suggesting is to get in touch with your base chakra and ground yourself. Okay. Um, because you're going to need that energy because right now it's, it feels that it's not, um, you're not as grounded as you could be okay. in this. Okay. So also, um, you're meant to go through, this is a, you're meant to go through this, um, you know, soul contracts with partnerships, you know, you get in a partnership, that's a soul contract and um, grounding yourself will help you, what spirit is showing will help you grow taller. Okay. It's just spirit is showing me you're going to ground yourself, which is going to make this energy in you grow taller which to me means more confidence, stronger back, stronger spine, you know, that kind of energy, okay? Um, and you're meant to go through this. Okay. So um, you can feel that it's credible. It is credible. It is, it is definitely for you to go through and use it because there's light in it. There's light for you. Um, and everybody else involved in this, especially your soul, though, you know, um, in this, it's just going to help build a strong foundation for you because this whole partnership thing, like you're partnering with the church. And I mean, that's a real theme um, in your, it's a karmic theme, I feel, Spirit is showing me. Okay. Right. <laughs> I leave that with you with right. light and love. Thank you. Thank you. For the Namaste. Thank you. So much. Thank you. All right, um, Anne Marie, do you have, uh, let's just do one. Do you have one for us today? I do. Um, Reverend Renee, may I come to you? <laughs> yes, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, I, when I was looking at your little square, um, I just got this strong vibration and this, this message is from spirit and I, strange things um they're showing me a uh, gavel and the scales of justice um they want I, I think people are coming to you for information and they want you to remove emotion and ego when you're giving advice to these people um they want you I had to write some of these things down because it was all coming fast. Um, look into what is just. They want you to research all sides, not just the ones that you think you should look at, even the ones that you might disagree with. You need to look at all sides. Um, communication is very important. They're also 
putting their hand over your mouth. Um, and I don't mean that disrespectful, just knowing, trying to tell you know when to speak and when not to speak. Um, they're showing me turquoise, which is a good stone for communication. If um, you can have that with you, it'll help you with your communication to give the, the right information. Um, there's a, a male figure, I believe it, I don't know if your father's in spirit, it's a, a father figure. Um, he is there to help with this. Um, he's, he's saying, I can help you discern the right information. And I leave you with spirit's blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anne-Marie. And uh, to finish us off, Carol Miller, would you get, do you have one for us today? I do a, 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 a quick one. I'm going to change screens. Jackie, would you like a message? Where'd you go? There you are. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, hi, Jackie. Hello. I have, a, I have a, a male energy coming in very strong. Almost <laughs> come through. I really want to come through. And the message is mostly a uh, hello to know I'm I'm still with you. Um, he is saying to don't be afraid to step forward though, to go ahead and do the things. Oops. I don't there oh I don't I don't know. Well at least we're on the same screen together. I don't know what happened. Um That's to okay. go ahead. I did you do that, Je um, Reverend Jenny? No, I, I didn't do that. I think Joey did that for some reason, but that's okay. Oh, well, no, that's Keep good. <laughs> um, because yeah. we sort of couldn't see each other, <laughs> or I, I couldn't see myself or Jackie. And it, oh, now we're gone again. It's okay. Um, that's pretty much <laughs> the message. He's coming through with love. Don't be afraid to make some changes. He's there with you supporting you and he also said he's enjoying watching you making the changes and doing the things that you're doing so just just rest in comfort in that and i'll leave that with you with love and light thank you you're welcome thank you carol and thank you for everyone who participated, um, it gave those that I always call on every Sunday a little bit of a break. So that was wonderful, thank you. And I think it worked very well to do an all message service. Sometimes it's interesting uh, for the mediums to realize that they can actually do it this way. <laughs> you know, you don't have to actually see the person in person or feel the energy. You can do that astrally, you can do that uh, through distance. And it, uh, uh, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, even though Zoom is going a little crazy today, but that's all right. So thank you to for your kind attention. Thank you to all the participants and all the mediums and especially the spirit and the God of your understanding for being with us today and always. For those who might be new with us today, you can learn more about the Church of the Angels at our website. Oh, and there go the dogs. Sorry. Uh, www.thechurchoftheangels.net or email us, of course, at thechurchoftheangels at gmail.com. Um, and now we'll enjoy another song. Uh, this one is from Karen Drucker, and then we'll have a closing prayer. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it says it is, so we're going to try it again. <laughs> We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy, holy, holy. We are holy. We are holy, holy. We are holy. Spirit divine, holy come. 
for the guidance and resources you always provide for us to live the fullest expression of your love. We pray for all those affected by the circumstances throughout our world at this time. May we be reminded always of the opportunities to reconnect in love to all those around the world, to Mother Earth, and to the universe. Amen. Awesome. All right, everybody unmute. I'm going to stop the recording. Hang on one second.